Welcome back second grade. Today we're in unit two, lesson number four. And in this lesson, we are going to start combining our ones, tens, and hundreds to help us solve story problems and to help us quickly solve addition facts. Let's take a look at an example problem. So, D has 74 cents. She wants to buy stickers that cost 10 cents each. How many stickers can she buy? How much money will she have left? Hmm. So I know that D has 74 cents. And the packs of stickers cost 10 cents each. Now, since they cost 10 cents, I think it would be a good idea to think about how many tens are in 74. Let's draw out the number. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. Let's count how many groups of 10 she has. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So she can get 7 stickers since they are 10 cents each. And then I see that she will have 4 cents left over. Her 7 stickers will cost her 70 cents. And she has four cents left over after buying her stickers. So in this problem, it was a good idea to draw out the number and see how many groups of 10 D had to go buy her stickers. Let's try another problem. Louisa has 39 carnival tickets. She can trade in 10 of them for a prize. How many prizes can Louisa get for her tickets? How many tickets will she have left over? So we know that she has 39 tickets and every 10 tickets, she gets a prize. So let's draw out our number. 10, 20, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Now, for 10 tickets, she gets a prize. So how many prizes can she get? One, two, three. She can get three prizes because there are three groups of 10 tickets. And how many are left over second graders? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She almost has enough for another prize because here are her 30 tickets and nine tickets left over. If only she had one more ticket, she would be up to 40 and then she could get four prizes. The next problem is about DJ. DJ wants to buy t-shirts that cost $10 each. He has $153. How many t-shirts can he buy? How many dollars will he have left over? So once again, they're $10 each. So let's draw our number. 100. 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 151, 152, 153. Hmm, now second grade, I have a little problem here because I have this 100. And I know that there's definitely some 10s in that 100. How many 10s are in a 100? Do you know? Ten tens are in a hundred. So he doesn't just have these groups of ten. He also has ten tens over here. So how many tens does he have? Ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So he can buy 15 t-shirts. This 100 is also the same as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I can think of it as 10 tens in that 100. And then how many does he have left over here, second grade? Three left over. Great job. So he can buy 15 t-shirts with $3 left over. Today, one of our goals is to work on quick adding strategies. Now, let's take a look at this first problem right here. We have 80 plus one. Now, second grade, which number is bigger? 80 or one? 80 is bigger. Now, one is from the ones place. It is only one digit. So what I can do is I can take that one and add it into the ones place. 80 plus one is equal to 81. I just took that one and added it in here. Now I only had zero, so I didn't have anything. So I took out the zero and I replaced it to give us 81. Let's try the second problem, eight plus 30. Which one is bigger second grade? 30, so 30 gets to stay. Now eight is only one digit. That means it goes in the ones place. So let's drag the eight into the ones place. Now I have a zero here right now, which means I can take out that zero and plop in my eight. 8 plus 30 is equal to 38. 1 plus 165. Oh, I know 165 is bigger. Way bigger than 1. Now, 1 is in the 1's place. So I'm going to drag it over. Right now I have a 5 in the 1's place. What's one more than five? Five plus one more is six. So I have 166. I just changed the number in the ones place. Everything else got to stay the same. I only needed to change that one digit. And 157 plus one? This one's definitely bigger. The one is from the ones place, so I drag it up. Oh, I already have seven. What's seven plus one more? Eight, 158. I get to keep those first two digits, and I just bumped up the eight because it's in the ones place. Now, second grade, we do the same strategy with these bigger numbers. I have 82 and 10. Which one is bigger? 82 is bigger. Now, 10 is in the tens place, correct? So, I need to bump my tens place up by one. What's one more than eight? Nine, 92, the two gets to stay the same. The nine just bumped up because it is in the tens place. Let's try the same thing right next door. 68 and 10, 68 is bigger. I take my new 10 and I add it to my six tens that I already have. That gives me 70. Eight. The eight gets to stay, but I had to bump up in my tens place. 10 plus 145. I know that 145 is larger. Now I have a 10. That means I'm going to add it into the tens place. 
I still get to keep my 100. In the tens, I used to have four, but now I have one more. Four plus one is five. And then I get to keep my five at the back. 155. And last, I have 30 plus 100. 100 is bigger. And I'm going to take my three tens and bump them into the tens place over here. Now, right now, I don't have any tens. So I can just plop the three in there. 130. There's my new number. My 100 gets to stay, and my zero ones gets to stay. This is our last slide, second grade. 148 and 100. 148 is bigger. Now, 100 is going to go to the hundreds place. So I used to have 148, but now I need another 100. So I have 248. The four and the eight get to stay. I just bumped up in the hundreds place. 100 plus five. Ooh, let's see. So five is in the ones place. I'm gonna drag it here to the ones place. I don't have any ones. So I can just plop it right in. I got to keep my 100. I had zero tens and I just moved the five ones over. 100 plus 85. Hmm, that kind of sounds a little bit like expanded form, doesn't it? I wonder if I could move both the eight and the five over because there are two zeros. Since there's two zeros, I can just move both of these numbers right on over. 185. I got to keep my 100 and I just moved the 85. And the last problem here, 96 plus 100. Look, I can do the same thing. I have two zeros in the tens place and the ones place. 96 is in the tens place and the ones place. I can just bring them over and plug them right in. I'm going to keep my 100 though. 196. Now second grade, this is going to be a little bit tricky at first, but I promise with some practice, it will get easier. Make sure we keep practicing those equations so that it will get easier every time.